Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. John, chapter 1, verses 45 to 51. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under a fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Bartholomew, Apostle and Martyr. His name means son of Ptolemy, and biblical scholars believe that he and Nathaniel in today's gospel is the same person. He was also a close friend of St. Philip, as it was Philip who introduced Bartholomew to Jesus, as we hear today. Tradition has it that St. Bartholomew traveled to India and Armenia to preach the gospel and was eventually martyred by King Astyagus by being filleted and beheaded. Like St. Bartholomew, at times we end up encountering Christ with doubt and skepticism. Can anything good come from Nazareth? Can anything good come from this pandemic? Can anything good come from whatever trial or hardships we may be going through currently? However, similar to the invitation given by Philip to Bartholomew, sometimes it is through the faith of those who are closest to us that serves as the initial pull to go beyond our apprehensions and uncertainties and meet God intimately. So through the intercession of St. Bartholomew, let us always be supported by those who have faith and that we be used as instruments of faith to those who might require our support. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and faithful day. If you enjoyed this reading, please make sure that you subscribe to the Daily Gospel Readings and Reflections. And if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading specifically, make sure you share it with them. If you'd like to learn more about how you can support the transformative work that Marinol Fathers and Brothers do around the world, visit us at marinolsociety.org. If you'd like to sign up to our online magazine, feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today. God bless.